I haven't shot a CZ-75 style gun in a really long time, and I do miss it dearly. Hey guys, this is Alex from A&R Design. Uh, we are filming this a little prematurely. This gun comes out on August 21st, or it's supposed to. Maybe by the time this video releases, this gun's already out and CZ decides to roll with the punches. And um, well, anyway, if you're lost, this gun is the new CZ Shadow 2 Compact. It's a gun that I have wished CZ would make years ago. And they finally brought it to fruition here in the United States. It was a gun shrouded in secrecy and then some uh, head in Austria decided to leak pictures of the gun. Anyway, with that being said, it's new, it's cool. I like it. I like it better than a PO1. Uh, it does have some fancy features, things that are a little bit proprietary. It's got these aluminum CZ Shadow 2 grips here, but guess what? They're not Shadow 2 grips. They're not PO1 grips. They are a proprietary sized grip panel. So aftermarket grips on the market do not fit this gun because it's a different frame and a different grip size. Very similar internal features uh, of the Shadow 2. It's got a three slot Picatinny rail, which is unique because CZ doesn't put multiple position rails on their guns. They typically have one. Uh, it has a P01 inspired frame, but it has the checkering in the front and the checkering in the back that looks very Shadow 2-esque. It's got that NIB trigger. Again, very similar to the Shadow 2. It's got a nice knurled matching aluminum anno mag release. I really like the position and the feel of that mag release. It has your classic safety selectors on the side of the gun and your classic takedown lever on your CZ pistols. Made in the Czech Republic is now big and bold in the frame. You got the CZ logo there. You got the CZ logo at the front of the slide. It is, again, it's a Shadow 2-esque slide because it's different than the Shadow 2. The chamfer stops here. The rest of the slide flattens out. It's vertical, it's not chamfered. And then you have your optic plate. This is our EPS Shadow 2 optic plate from Anvil. Uh, that's a brand of a &R Design. So we have these available on the website. When you remove the optic cover plate with rear sights, you do lose your rear sights on this gun. So you have no rear sights once you remove it and put on an optic plate. So hope you're happy with your optic and you have a quality optic. It has a skeletonized hammer, just like the Shadow 2. Let's drop that slide there. Uh, safety selectors, I wish there was a little bit more of a ledge on it, but it is the classic concealed carry safety selectors for the CZ. Like I said, nice checkering in the back. Um, let's open it up. I wanted to show how the frame takes apart. Oh, before we go inside, it comes with two CZ magazines. They have almost like a bluing on them or a DLC coating on them. I'm not sure if they are true Metgar mags and they are finished by Metgar. They're CZ roll stamped. Uh, right here, we have a CZ P01 magazine by Metgar, which has a flat finish, not the satin blued looking finish, which also fits in this gun. And then we have the classic uh, Metgar mags that are non-CZ branded, uh, made in Italy. Um, it, it looks the same, it feels the same. It has the same, it's probably a Metgar mag, it just is a different finish than a lot of the CZ mags that you've seen lately. But anyway, we'll pull it apart real quick. Internally, you can see the guts and the firing pin block inside. Obviously there's some stuff I like to do to my CZs when I get them. I like to polish these a little bit. Um, uh, I did wish this was, originally when I was told about this gun, it was going to be a CNC cut steel frame. They decided to go with alloy, which I'm not the happiest about. I did wish it was steel. Uh, and then here's the guts of the slide. It has a metal uh, guide rod recoil assembly. Takes down just like your CZs usually do. It's got some weight to it, which is nice. I like the front. It's got almost like a, a, race, a race crown on the uh, guide rod assembly hole. Fits right back in there. The slide is super nice. 
the frame, the frame's in good shape. Some parts of the frame look like they were hand lapped. You can see there's some like weird grindy marks there. And then towards the muzzle, inside the muzzle, you can see it's almost like the aluminum is sheared off a little bit to the side. It still feels nice. I'm just a little spoiled on all these heft heftier guns. The slide is pretty hefty, which is nice. Front caulking serrations. It's got nine by 19 up front there. The finish on the slide is super nice. Finish on the skeletonized hammer, super nice. The gun feels great in the hands. Trigger press, um, I couldn't tell you poundages and weights. It didn't come with a manual. I just got the gun and two magazines with it. Um, single action, real nice. You got your trigger as you release. Creep, 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 creep. Reset into almost straight wall. A nice four pound four-ish pound break, maybe a little bit less. These come from the factory with a set screw here to adjust travel. They do not adjust travel from the factory. It's on you to adjust how much travel you want. We're gonna leave it at a factory setting. Uh, we have put the TLR7 Alpha pistol light on this one, and we will be running it out of our very own Shadow 2 Compact CZ holster for the TLR7. We have no light bearing holsters for this, TLR7 Alpha holsters, and Surefire X300 holsters. I am running the Neomag T-Post assembly. This is my favorite assembly for belt clip options. Clips right into there. If you have a gun belt, there's very little rotation. Keeps your claw perfectly in position with your belt. And it is a fantastic belt assembly accessory for your holsters. Anyway, we'll get shooting, put some rounds down range, and uh, go through how it feels. Six shots, two seven best split, three four five. That safety is a little hard to sweep. Two drop shots, 336. Man, that safety is hard. Finally, got a good draw, ran out of ammo. Missed off the right. I'm so used to that staccato safety being all over the, like, humongous. <laughs> Maybe I should just shoot the gun and get used to it, you know? Feels nice. Nope, it's blue now. Wait, yeah. All right, all right, let's just shoot it. I'm not gonna be a master at shooting this thing because I uh, don't shoot it. Actually, one thing I wanted to do is run it from the double action, quarter cocked. I don't think these are safe, I wonder. I don't know enough about this gun, but I know carrying a, if you decock a Shadow 2, because it doesn't have the standard firing pin block, it's not drop safe to carry cocked and locked, but it is quarter cocked, so it's not near the firing pin. So we'll run it from double action. It's a really, it's a really smooth double action. And if I let the trigger out fast, it sits at the quarter cock. Not so bad. I'm hooking the trigger a little bit just cause for me, put that on safe. For me, my length of pull is a little bit bigger. I'd like to have my trigger 
at the single action a little bit more forward. I do have my staccato sits pretty far forward and I'm used to shooting that. But so here I'm kind of hooking it a little bit more, but it's not bad. It feels super nice. Nice thing about these CZs, you can always get to the slide stops with your primary hand. Terrible shooting on my part. I am covered in schmutz. Hopefully it's not <laughs> the coating on the inside of the gun. Dirty girl. I haven't shot a CZ-75 style gun in a really long time and I do miss it dearly. They just, they feel so nice in the hands. Gun looks great. Trigger's great. The EPS plate on it is rock and roll. Sits super nice. The EPS, get the RMR window and close the mitter. Sits low to the bore on these already low bore axis guns. They're not that low bore axis. If you actually measure firing pin to top of the hand, they look a lot lower because of how thin the profile of the slide is, but the frame sits higher on CZs than let's say like a Glock. So they're comparable. They're not as low bore axis as, you know, everyone used to tout back in the day, including myself, uh, until I understood things better. But it feels nice. Single action feels awesome. It's accurate. I got this gun. I bore sighted it with the laser light. Got it on paper at 20 yards and I'd slap and steal at 50, no problem. Really is a nice gun. I just, it has kind of a, a grindy feel in this, in this frame because the frame kind of feels a little unfinished. I, I do feel that it's gonna smooth out in time. You put a thousand rounds to this gun, it's gonna really, it's gonna really feel nice, but I'm uh, not, I wish it was a, I wish it was a CNC steel frame. I think that's the biggest ball drop on this that would have made it super cool and kind of stay in that Shadow 2 realm a little bit better other than, you know, slide aesthetics and uh, some of the internals for the Shadow 2. It really is an attractive gun. It runs well. I heard, I'm not sure, we'll find out. I know that I got my bill for this gun was pretty, pretty chonky. And I'm, I'm, it, I'm rumoring, it's rumoring about 1,700, between 1,400 and 1,700 US dollars for this gun. And if that's true, that's kind of crazy. Like personally, I think that's kind of real crazy. Cause I think Shadow 2s, optic ready Shadow 2s are like 1,200 bucks. Could be wrong. Haven't looked at prices in a while. I am just ballparking, but I've heard some rumors that this thing is pretty expensive. And when I saw my bill, my dealer cost on the gun when we received it, I was like, wait, wait, did you, did you give us dealer pricing? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, that's dealer pricing? So I think the price tag might be a put off for some people. Starts tracking away from me and get it back on track. It's getting it good, it's getting it going. It's a shooter. It's a shooter. I mean, you can see the steel target. It's got a nice dark gray spot. Mama, <laughs> uh, it's a little warm today. Slide is roasty toasty. Put about 400 rounds through the gun. 
Um, we did want this video to be a lot longer. We wanted to actually film on multiple occasions to get a higher life cycle of rounds through the gun before doing a final review. But since that guy in Austria decided to release pictures of the pistol in preparation, we wanted to get the YouTube video ready for you guys. So sorry it wasn't more laborious than it could have been, but we hope you enjoyed the shooting and the informational part, even though the informational part's a little weak because I don't have a user's manual for the gun, so I can't pull all the specifications of it, and CZ also didn't give us a ton on the gun. Uh, they sent us the gun, and that's all that matters. Uh, you know what? For a compact CZ75 based off the Shadow 2, compact, optic ready, I like it. I do. I really do. I am interested to see what the final price point is on the gun. Uh, if it is 14, 16, 1800 bucks, that would disappoint me. Uh, and I'm sure it would disappoint many of you. I know that a lot, I have seen a lot of feedback on the internet on this gun, people seeing the leaked photos and a little bit disappointed. Some people were hoping for like a 10 millimeter P10C, which I don't know why people would want that badly. Some people thought it was going to be an actual micro gun that would compete with the 365 XL. Of course it wasn't. This was a gun that five years ago when the Shadow 2 came out and I was in Czech Republic shooting a Czech optic ready Shadow 2 before anyone had seen it, I said, man, it'd be cool if this came in a compact gun that was drop safe. That would be rad. I did like everything about the Shadow 2. I love the weight. I love the construction. You know, out of the box, it's a good trigger. Uh, it's a good shooter. You can make it even better, Cajunizing it or custom shopping it. So I was really interested in, in a compact version of the Shadow 2. We finally got it. Uh, again, I do wish it had a steel frame. It's a little lighter than I hoped. And, uh, you know, it's got proprietary grips, but I understand why. It kind of slimmed it down. It is a very comfortable ergonomic pistol that still embodies everything CZ, classic CZ. With that being said, I, I like it. It shoots really well. It's accurate. It, it does everything a checkmade CZ pistol should do and would do. So it's kind of on you guys. What do you think? Let us know how you feel in the comments. Was this what you hoped for? Are you disappointed that this is the secret CZ that finally came out? Um, I'm not that disappointed. I do think it's a nice gun. I might be disappointed in the price point, but other than that, it kind of checks all the boxes for me for kind of a higher end P01 compact carry. Uh, I think I think it was smart to do it in a safety version and not a decocker version. A lot of people are big fans of 2011s right now. So having a, a safety model kind of higher end CZ75 style pistol is, in my opinion, smart because they're probably trying to compete with the higher end 2011s and hybrids and the DWX compact, even though CZ and Dan Wesson are owned by CZUB. Uh, this is like CZ's kind of version. Um, so with, with that being said, you know, I like it. What say you? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.